Hello everyone, this is Ashley. I have another haul for y'all. Um, and this will absolutely be my, um, I'm not gonna say my last haul, but this is the last time that I will be shopping for a very long time. This is a super, super haul, a uh, collection of items from Hobby Lobby, uh, Michaels, and just a few items from like Dollar Tree and Joann's, but mostly it's gonna be Hobby Lobby um, and Michaels. So let me go ahead and jump right in. And because I have so much stuff, y'all, I try to keep stuff, you know, kind of in order from what store and what product. But because I have so much, it may not be in order. But we're going to give this a whirl, okay? So let's jump right in. So the first uh, item here is the Bria Reese Ink Dauber Kit. If y'all remember this, this was at uh, Michael's Clearance Stop for, let me see, three, for three dollars. No, I'm sorry, five. No, three. This was clearance stock for three dollars. Um, and if you read the back, it has coarse dauber pad, foam dauber pad, and a sponge dauber pad. So it can give you different um backgrounds or uh you know the end result a little bit different than the traditional dauber. And I needed some more of these, so I finally found one of those. And then I found another one of these kits here. This was five bucks, the Colorbox Blending Value Pack. $24, nine blender pads. Um, thought there was more, but I guess that's it. But this was only $5. This is my second one of these. And you can never have enough of those for your inking and stamping. And then I also found a Versifying Claire. This is the Paradise. A uh, pigment ink. This was two dollars, and I love this ink. So I've been, you know, kind of picking these up as I see them because I love this particular ink. It's really good with like watercolor, um, stamped images, uh, etc. So I had to pick this up, and this was in Paradise. And then I was also super glad to find this Tim Holtz Distress Glaze. This is actually a clearance stat at Michaels too, y'all. This was three dollars, and this was originally nine ninety nine. And it was kind of stuff at three dollars, so this is just a good size to try the glaze. I um I saw his live videos, and I was like, I need to get some. So I, I found that clearance stuff at three bucks, and then I found these two Jane Davenport uh, Ink Credibles. Um, this one is Limeade, and these are clearance stuff for was it two or three dollars? These are $2. Clearance stock for $2. I did not have this one, so I got Limeade. And then I got this one here, which this one is uh, Fairy Floss. I'm trying to get it to focus here, I don't know. But Fairy Floss. Then I also found this at Michael's Clearance Stout. These are the Crayola Take Note Highlighter Pens. Clearing stuff for three dollars, you get two in one, so it looks like there's maybe a chisel tip and like a fine point, possibly, or uh, something like that. Which this has been my literally like my obsession is kind of stationary items like highlighters, pens, pencils, all kind of stuff, y'all. So, I also found this clearance out at Michael's, too. Uh, these I'm gonna butcher this name right here is it Stetler? Stetler? Stedler, don't laugh at me, y'all. I don't know how to quite pronounce it, but I know this is a pretty pricey brand when it comes to um, your high-end pins and whatnot. I mean, I've seen a couple different hauls on this, but this is the Unicorn Dreams. And this was clearance out for five, $5. Um, and you get six in here, and these are the fine liners, and it shows you the colors on the right-hand side, six-piece. So, of course, like I said, my new obsession is like different pens for calligraphy, my journals, mixed media, as well as for school, too. Um, but I had to pick these up as well. So I got those. And then again, at Michael's, y'all remember these bags? My Michael still had this, which is the Crazy Craft Lady. This was clearing out for, was it five or three? This is... Um... I don't know y'all, but this was either three or five dollars. I can't remember. So I had to pick that up. And then we're gonna jump to some Hobby Lobby, y'all. Um, you know you have a they have um a 
a lot of their art supplies and product clearanced out. So I grabbed the Canson Mixed Media Rough um, kit here. Uh, it's a 9 by 12 And it was clearanced out for $4.44, originally $17.79. And I grabbed two of these. Um, really good paper, 114 pounds. Um, so I picked up two of these. And then I also picked up, um, I've actually already put it up, but it's the Strathmore brand. And they had their mixed media journal like this clearance out as well. And I think that one was $4 and some change. And I picked up uh, the Canson and the Strathmore one. And also from Hobby Lobby, y'all, I picked this up. This is the Animal Odyssey coloring from the, just a coloring book, y'all. Uh, it was $3.73 from $14.95, so 15 bucks. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. But I got it. I think it would just be really good to just kind of, you know, just to do a little doodling, coloring. I think that's always good. And I love these different animals here and the designs. So for $3.75, just to, you know, something kind of calming and fun to do. I'm always in my journals, too. Maybe I do a uh, video on those. So I'm always in my journals doing that, but I thought a coloring book would help um, with that. Also, I picked up this magnetic fob locket for 99 cents at Hobby Lobby. This is on the jewelry clearance. So, uh, this will be really, really good. So cute. I got that. Then I also found the Happy Planner stuff, y'all. And I picked up quite a bit, a pretty large amount of Happy Planner items. Um, when Hobby Lobby first had everything marked down, but I didn't do a haul on any of that or really any of the scrapbook items either. If you do want me to do a video, I will do so, but I didn't do it, but yeah. But, um, I did find this at another Hobby Lobby a little bit further away from me. This is the fitness one. 570 pieces. Kind of a... Not completely flip through because I have so many items. Y'all, I'm just going to pick some random pieces here. But yeah, y'all get the gist of that. But this was $4.99. And I have a lot of planner stuff too. I'm super excited about that. Here's another planner item. This is from the Happy Planner as well. It was clearing stuff for $2.49. Planner accessories. And I love the color combo with this, y'all. This uh, is the homebody seasons. You get quite a bit of items in this kit for two forty nine. dollars um, Let's see. Sticky notes. Each pad has 20 sticky notes. Bookmark. Pre-punched paper. Pretty much here you can see what's in there for two forty nine. dollars So that's super, super cute. So I had to grab that. And I was also... Ooh, Really excited to find this as well. This is the Happy Planner Black Pad 100 Sheets for $3.49. And it says on schedule and then the days of the week. And with this one, I was thinking I could fold these in half and just use them as the um, pre-punched uh, like half um, sheets as well. And I'll show you those a little bit later too when I'm referring to. But this will be really good for that. But this is a great find, so I had to grab that. Also at Hobby Lobby, they have the Tim Holtz, uh, like pretty much like an ephemera pack in my opinion. There's 65 pieces, 275. Kind of gives you an idea of some of the product that's in there. Although this would be super awesome. I love me some Tim Holtz. Also found the clear resin. This was clearing stuff for $1.49. Uh, there's a two ounce part A resin and a two ounce part B hardener. So I found that. And then I also grabbed, let's see here. I grabbed the Spectrum Noir, Spectrum Noir True Blend um, markers here. These are clearing stuff for $1.29. And I have already uh, quite a few or a lot of this Spectrum Noir markers. So I thought this would be a good addition to the collection with three in one. So this one is in Fair Skin Blend, which I had to grab. So that when you do, of course, skin colors, you can have that one. As well as a darker one. This is the Gold Brown Blend. And these two together will make a bomb. 
um, skin tone, even if they had a darker one than this one, at least that was clear and that I saw, that would have been really good too for skin tones. They have this gorgeous uh, kind of green and blue color. Clearance stuff for $1.24 again. This is Jade Green Blend. This is a gorgeous red. This is Dark Red Blend. This is True Blue. This one is Hydrangea Blend. And this one is blue turquoise. So I had to pick those up to add them to my Spectrum of Work collection already. Here's some more pins, y'all. I told you this is like my new thing now, my new obsession, y'all. So again, a Hobby Lobby. Um, that brand, I can't really, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, y'all. Don't judge me. Stetler? Stadler? Stetler? Somebody please let me know. But anyways, this is the second set that I have of these. Um, this is the Tan Pores Point Pens. Uh, they're originally $30, bucks, $29.99. Which is, I would never pay that for these. But for $7.49, I will absolutely give them a whirl. Um, so I wanted to give these a go, y'all. And I love this case because you can stand it up and just keep them in here. So I got those. I also got the Fabric Castells for Pit Artist Pens, $4.99. You get... Uh, one brush nib, one soft brush nib, one soft chisel nib, and one bullet nib for calligraphy as well as... And I've been doing uh, practicing a lot of calligraphy as well, so that's another reason. Then I also got the Faber-Pastel Pit Artist Pens. And these are the Indian India Ink, which I've tried India Ink before. I haven't had the colors in these, so shows you the colors and the points, the tips on each. Those will be super fun to work with. These are also by Fabric Castell Calligraphy Art. Six Pit Artist Pins, $4.99 clearance out. And these are like your browns and gray. Uh, it says, okay, so each calligraphy neighbor, each pen is, there's one that's India Ink, Archival, Waterproof, Permanent, Light Fast, and Odorless. So I'm guessing that's what's in here in each, each one with the tips there. So I got that. I also got these. These are the Sharpie 6 count. Clearance dot for $3.99. Um, these are the 0 0.8 millimeter um, nibs there. You can see those are the different colors, kind of like your primary colors. So I had to grab those. And then these I grabbed from Dollar Tree. Again, y'all, I'm kind of jumping around. And I grabbed two of these because you don't really see these colors too much in gel pens. Because um, these are kind of like more of a vintage color with the brown, that vintage color green and yellow and orange. Um, so I grabbed two of these from Dollar Tree. And then I also ordered a couple days ago from AliExpress because they are having their anniversary sale. And I bought some more vintage, uh, like 70s um, type uh, pens and markers and such. And I'll do a haul whenever I receive that. Um, then I also purchased from Hobby Lobby. Um, is the Fabric Castell 36 piece creative lettering $4.99. And again, I told you I'm also practicing calligraphy. And this comes with quite a bit here, as you can see on the back. So there's like a booklet, you get the Fabric Castell gelatos, you have your tools, some templates, booklets, all kind of fun stuff in there. So I got that for $4.99. Then also at Hobby Lobby, they have the Tim Holtz uh, Sizzix mini tool set. This was clearance out for $374. And I have the bigger one from Sizzix. I don't have the smaller one. Um, you can never have enough of these for your dies, those intricate dies to get those pieces out. So I grabbed that. Also from Hobby Lobby, this is like my second one I think I've purchased from them. This is the exact same one. This was clearance out for $374. This is the Happy Notes. And it's gorgeous, so I picked another one of these up. And that 374 is just alone, like just the rings, but I am really gonna use these for notes. So I got that, because I'll be doing my student teaching here pretty soon. And then also, from the Happy Planner. These are 60 sheets, the Happy Planner. These are clearance out at $1.49. And you can see it shows the day, these are the week. 
can write down whatever you need. And then this is my absolute, absolute favorite, y'all. These are the this week's goals. There's 40 sheets, 224. And these are the pre-punched folded sheets. And that's what I was referring to for the other ones that I was talking about earlier. That these are pretty much folded. And it has a list here. And then the other side, it's grid. Um, but these are awesome. And I was using them in um, another planner um, for school as well as my wedding planner. And I've already used some of these. And these are awesome. So I had to grab another one of those. Also a Hobby Lobby. I found the Paper Studio brand there, Hobby Lobby brand. Parent stock for $2.49. This is the Boss Babe sticker sheet. Again, and go with my planners. It's still kind of closed, but just a quick flip through, y'all. This is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Then I picked up another one in Home Life. Parent stock $2.74. Again, they are, still have the sticky, but let's see if I can just to give you a look at some of the stickers there then i'll do the same with the boss babe just all cute we'll go with the planners then i also found this one this is the um, happy planner this is clearance stock for 4.99 so five bucks this is color me happy 561 pieces again i'm just gonna do a quick little flip through just pick some random pages here to show y'all how about your sentiments there So yeah, I grabbed this one. And this is just such a deal. I mean, these books are originally $20, y'all. $20. And this is another one I picked up. This is bookish. Again, $4.99. Five bucks. 680 pieces. Again, I'm just going to do a quick flip through. So if you are a get planner person or you just like stickers or whatever the case you got time to buy some and then i only have a few more items a few are from joann's y'all which joann's need to they need to figure things out their, their prices are way too high and a lot of the same items but nonetheless i grabbed these these are maggie holmes planner disc there's nine now this is a pretty good price to me 247 for nine and these are like a clear or see-through with gold glitter or specks in there so i mean that's a really good deal on that so that's why i grabbed that and they also have the happy planner disc the mini disc these were 347 with the purple and the glitter in there so i grabbed that and then also grabbed this happy planner as well this was clearance staff for 297 so three dollars this was a kind of a pretty good deal to me too this is the dashboard and you can see uh, that it comes with those three items so it's pretty much paying like a dollar each, ultimately. And this is one of my favorite designs, so I had to pick this one up. Now, um, this is actually from Dollar Tree, y'all. This is a calligraphy book from Dollar Tree. And this is awesome, y'all. Like, I've already started working on it, and my daughter, as y'all can see, she's been scribbling in it. But it just has so many pages with calligraphy, and you can get practice. So I picked this one up too, and I've already been working on it. So if y'all see this at Dollar Tree, this calligraphy book, this is an awesome one too. And then the last item, y'all, um, y'all already know what it is, but I can't put this up here. But it's the, I bought it at Michael's. It's the um, Lexington three-tier rolling cart, and I got it in the color white. Um, so I did grab that, and of course, that's $29.99 right now, so $30. Bucks. So of course, I grabbed that. Um, and once I get that set up, I will do a separate video um, of just kind of my thoughts on it, which I think I'm going to love it. And then also, because um, I'm going to put all of my planner stuff, because I have so much planner items. It's taking up a lot of where I put my craft items. So I wanted to put them in a separate space, which is why I grabbed that to your rolling cart. So once I get that up and rolling, I will do another video on that. Um, and that is everything in my haul, y'all. I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, but yeah whoa sorry y'all <laughs> i was getting a little too excited and knocked down my whiteboard um but everything's okay i'm okay <laughs> i was just gonna say thank you all for watching my video for subscribing all the wonderful comments just want to say thank you thank you you all have a blessed day and thanks for watching see y'all in the next one
Bye.